Hi, this is Chuck Robinson, and this is Notes from the Master's Class, and today is Tuesday, April the 29th, 2014. And while I'm recording this, there is a solar eclipse that is occurring and is, is visible in Antarctica and parts of South America and South Australia. We bring that to your attention because all of us are connected to everything. We're connected to each other. We're connected to the bugs on our porch. We're connected to the storms in far places in the world. And we are connected to our galaxy and our universe. And lots of times we seem to think that reality stops at the uh, front lawn, or the front line of the place where we live. But the fact of the matter is there are no real boundaries. We are all connected. We are all one. Now, one of the problems that that instantly poses is that we're not normally accustomed to seeing or looking for things that are not in this third dimensional reality, material reality. If we go and we look for non-material physical reality, We'll find a lot, but we're not accustomed to that. Most of us, a lot of us, an awful lot of us, is sort of like, if I can't see it, I'm not going to believe it, and if I don't believe it, it's not going to be there. But the fact of the matter is, we are not alone, even dimensionally. There are other dimensions. And the interesting thing about that is, if you don't believe that, you won't see it. But when you do believe it, you'll see it and experience it. So in my own experience, what I found was that I just couldn't believe that there was a fourth or a fifth or a sixth or umpteen jillion dimensions. When I started listening to string theories and the possibility that there are 11 or 17 distinct dimensions that can be wound around each other like a string, it made me start to think, and I started listening to some people that were talking about this, and I began to discover that these dimensions are right beside us. They are just this close, and we don't have to do anything other than enter them through the door which they've created, which is simply believing it's there and going and experiencing it. Now, I know that sounds really far out to some of you, but it's worth your trying. It could well be, and I can tell you from my own experience, it is true that there are these dimensions. And in other dimensions, we experience powers and beings and experiences that are not unlike what we experience here, but they are of a different presentation. For example... Apparently, many people know that there are beings called angels or archangels or ascended masters. These beings are able to be anywhere in this galaxy and perhaps in the whole universe in a twinkling of an eye. Because in their dimension, time and space are not important. And these beings, as we have experienced, and when I say we, I mean Karen and myself, these beings apparently are here to help us and to guide us and to make our progress along a spiritual path easier. And when I heard this in one of the interviews that we have done with these Ascended Masters, one of them said to me, our job is here to help you grow and to get through this life. But we can't do it unless you ask. Now, one of the things that I experienced in third dimensional physical matter reality Christianity is that when you ask God, you're almost a, a, a supplicant or a beggar. But the fact is that when we ask these other beings who, in, who are guided and created by God, when we ask them, that's the permission they need to enter our lives and to help us solve problems. 
and it's very important. It's not something that we have to beg for. It's not something that we have to cry about or be upset about. We simply say, angels, please come in and help me solve this problem. And the interesting part about that is it seems to be there's an angel or an ascended master or a saint or an archangel that is responsible for every possible situation. One of my favorite uh, ones to ask for help in is getting my computer to work. I know that sounds mundane, but the bottom line is when you ask for help and it comes, you say, gee, that, that's the easy way. That's the easy way. Now, you can test me out on this. I'm willing to do that for sure. And what I'd like for you to do is just this week, as you encounter a problem, simply say, angels, please come and help me solve this problem. And let the resolution be for the betterment and benevolence of all concerned. And what that, the first thing that happens when you do that is, all of a sudden, to my great surprise and perhaps yours, is that you will find a level of peace. You'll find something unusual going on in your life that is not the usual way you have to deal with these kinds of problems for which you're asking help. The second thing is, as you calm down in the middle of a storm, you catch your breath, and your anxiety goes down, and it opens up the channels that allow you to see things in a multitude of different and positive ways. That's very important. When we're uptight and we're rushing to push a solution through somewhere, we're not doing our best thinking, and we're not open to the best solution. So when you ask for help from these other dimensional beings, it gives you a chance to slow down and say, well, oh, wait a minute, Let's ha what's happening here and, and what do I want here and, and what's possible? Now, if you'll try this in the next week, you will find that this will have an effect on you. And I would really like it. If you would let me know, call me, uh, write me, chuck at whatifitreallyworks.com or send me a letter and our address is all on our webpage, What If It Really Works, and tell me how this is going for you. I think it's time, no, I'm sure it's time, that we stop not telling the truth. There's so much going on, there's so much exciting things going on, and we have been accustomed to say, well, let's don't tell other people, they'll think we're crazy. We're not crazy. We're having a more complete experience. And the more we're willing to tell that to people and not be ashamed or concerned or worried about what they think, the greater the likelihood is that we'll be entrusted with more and more solutions from this other dimensional realm. So this is Chuck. This is Notes from the Master's Class. I hope you get something out of it, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much. Thank you.